Hi everyone and welcome back to the Shanae Lee Show. Before I get into this video, a little announcement slash hopeful thing for me. I am hoping to start posting at least one Thursday every month, at most two Thursdays every month. That way I can have a little bit more content every month. I know I have a lot of booktube content going on right now. For right now, it is what it is. Starting tomorrow though, June 30th, I will be posting and- oh. That was weird to say, sorry. Um, that threw me off a little bit. Starting tomorrow though, June 30th, I will be starting to post Anime Expo content because this weekend is Anime Expo weekend. So during this weekend, I'd mentioned it like a couple of times in various ways over the course of my videos for Anime Expo weekends, but for the course of Anime Expo weekend between tomorrow, June 30th, and Tuesday, July 4th, I will be posting every day for those five days. And that's mainly because I kind of wanted to have a video for each day, given the fact that it's Anime Expo and the plan is to attend all four days. But with all that said, let's get into this video. This is the 2023 mid-year book freakout tag. I've been wanting to do this tag for a while and since I'm kind of in a groove now with posting YouTube videos and getting content up, now is a good time as any. And what reminded me of this was a video I watched recently on Elliot Brooks' channel. I went and kind of looked around to see if I could find just like a general list of the questions, which I have included in the description as well. I know usually for a lot of my booktube videos, I have a stack of books like right there. I was too lazy to like pick up all the books from my bookshelf so we're just going to show pictures of the covers right here question one is best book of the year for me it was the three lives of alex st pierre by natasha lester i absolutely fell in love with this book i have the hardcover edition which is the cover you're seeing now i ordered the paperback edition which will be coming out for me in october just because i love this book so much i love both of the covers so much it was an immediate read for me and an immediate love and it was something that just spoke to my soul second question is best sequel I haven't read a lot of new series recently. Technically, you could count the Disney Twisted Tale series as a series, in which case I guess I could throw in When You Wish Upon a Star. But the thing is, is that I have not finished this yet. I'm like 9 to 10 chapters into this, but for a series that I have read that it was a reread for me, the best sequels for me were The Two Towers and The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien. This series, Lord of the Rings, will always be a great love of mine. It is something that I plan to reread once a year from here on out. I've been doing that. I started last year, continuing it this year. So the third question is a new release you haven't read yet but want to. I'm going to include a couple books in here just because there are a few that I do want to read. She Started It by Cyan Gilbert. I've been wanting to get into the mystery, the murder mystery genre, and for the couple of books that I've read, I've had pretty good experiences with them and have enjoyed them. Next up is Wayward by Amelia Hart. I did try to read this a little bit earlier in the year. I don't think I was in the right mindset, although it is conceptually a book I will like. Finally, did you hear about Kitty Carr by Crystal Paul Smith? I feel like this is a good alternative to Taylor Jenkins Reid's books if you like them and want something new. Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. This is a release that is actually going to come out relatively soon in relation to this video, and that is her Radiant Curse by Elizabeth Lim. This is coming out in mid to late August, I'm pretty sure, and I am so looking forward to it. Elizabeth Lim has been one of my favorite authors since last year when I read her Six Crimes and Crimes duology. Question five is biggest disappointment. I don't necessarily think I've had anything that's been disappointing so far this year. There haven't really been any books that I've truly been disappointed in, but for books that didn't necessarily meet my expectations, I would have to throw in Babel here. This is a book that conceptually I liked and I understood why so many people loved it but for me it was just a very- I didn't have very high expectations going into this book to begin with. I will link the reading vlog that I did for book of the month down in the description below if you want further commentary on it. It didn't meet the expectations I had for it which were already low and there were just like a couple things where it was like a little bit too much. Question six is biggest surprise. I have a couple in here. First up, again, I'm 
at the time i'm recording this i'm still reading it and that is when you wish upon a star by elizabeth Lamb. i don't think i've discussed this too much on here on my channel but i'm not the biggest fan of pinocchio i'm not entirely sure what it was but i think it was kind of in that same vein of me not really liking peter pan two very bratty kids it was just not something i really liked i do like the rides at disneyland i will say although the pinocchio ride is a little raggedy right now but pinocchio has never really been my favorite story so it is surprising that I am enjoying When You Wish Upon a Star. Next up is The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. Again, this was a kind of a surprise for me because, as I said earlier, I am starting to try to get into the more mystery and murder mystery genres. So it was a surprise for me that I like this book so much when I'm just getting into the genre. Question seven is new favorite author, whether it's a debut author or an author that's simply new to you. And for me, that author is Zulfa Katu. If I said her name wrong, please let me know in the comments and let me know how to say her name properly. But when I read As Long As the Lemon Trees Grow by Zulfa Katu, I fell in love with that story and the characters and the journey they all go on to get to where they are in the end. Question eight is newest fictional crush. For me, I have kind of a hard time developing book crushes, but I will say that I do think that Anthony March and Alex St. Pierre from The Sex Life of Alex St. Pierre by Natasha Lester. Both of them fit pretty nicely under new crushes for me, new fictional crushes for me. But again, I kind of have a hard time developing fictional crushes on people in books. It's definitely a me thing. Question number nine is newest favorite character. Again, I'm going to have to go with Alex St. Pierre and Anthony March from Natasha Lester's The Three Lives of Alex St. Pierre, but also Kiara from When You Wish Upon a Star by Elizabeth Lim. Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. I cry very easily in many situations but I don't cry too easily at books and I don't think I can name a book specifically for the first half of this year that I've teared up to. I've definitely gotten emotional over some books like As Long As the Love Trees Grow by Zulfa Katu and The London Seance Society by Sarah Penner but I haven't really gotten teary-eyed or cried over any books this year yet and I honestly don't think I will cry over any books this year just because again I don't really cry over books too much. Question 11 is a book that made you happy. For me again I've mentioned it quite a few times in this video already but that is The Three Lives of Alex St. Pierre by Natasha Lester. Again to mention another book one that I read for Pride Month this month is Every Word You Never Said by Jordan Green. Both of these were really happy books. They both had their very tumultuous emotional moments. They both made me so happy. Question number 12 is is favorite book to movie adaptation you've seen this year. I haven't seen anything new this year that's been specifically book to movie adaptations but some of my favorites are Lord of the Rings and The Princess Bride. Those are some of my favorite book to movie adaptations. And before y'all are in my comments saying that the book of The Princess Bride came afterwards, it actually came before. The book was published in 1973 and the movie came out in 1987 because I've gotten into a few conversations where it's like oh no the movie came first and it's like no the book did. The 13th question is the most beautiful book you've purchased this year so far and again I'm going to mention The Three Lives of Alex St. Pierre both the hardcover book and the pre-order that I have for the paperback edition and I also have to throw in the Barnes & Noble soft leather back edition of The Odyssey by Homer. This is the best picture that I could find that could do it justice. Again I'm feeling a little too lazy to grab it off my bookshelf. And finally question 14 is what book or what books do you have to read by the end of the year? I have two books that I'm including in here which are Lone Women by Victor Laval and Hang the Moon by Jeanette Walls. If you want to comment with your own answers or take the questions and do them in your own video or post, the questions, as I said, are down below in the description. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for my next video.